Daisy May, you ready to go camping? We're locked and loaded? We're loaded down and locked up. <laughs> About as much as we can be loaded down. It's not working. Huh? Oh, oh. Don't know? No. Is our battery dead? Well, we had a rough start. We went to attach the camper to the truck and like the jack where you lift it to put it on the truck was completely dead. The battery for the whole camper was dead and we were like full blown panic mode about to go buy a new like RV battery. But Bunky somehow <laughs> had enough things with him to attach a power cord to, what do you call it B? Um, it was a 12 volt dump in. 12 volt dog bone power cord plugged it into the back of the truck through the back window and i guess it gave us enough juice to kick things off yeah yeah so then we got it you know working enough to actually attach it so once we get there we have to charge you know our batteries all the way but the good thing is is we're on the road we're rolling we're rolling we're rolling We are about to make some coffee. We got all set up last night. By the time we got here, it was really dark outside. So it's actually kind of hard to set up in the dark. So we had to just get ourselves situated. We grilled out, made some smash burgers. They were delicious. Thanks to my wonderful chef, Mr. B. And um, it got kind of cold last night. We turned on the fireplace in the middle of the night for a couple hours just to like heat up the camper because we didn't want to turn the heat on yet. But it was like 56 degrees in here. So I was a little chilly. I thought it was 52. It might have gotten down to 52. Daisy yeah. May was like sleeping underneath the covers with us. I was warm underneath the covers. Yeah. I was warm, but my feet were kind of cold yeah. because I don't have the blanket over there on my side. Daisy's blanket. I have down. Daisy's blanket over my feet. Yeah, but I, my feet were a little chilly, so I had my my knees and my chest all all tucked up. <laughs> we were a little cold last night, but it's warming up today. It's actually so beautiful here, and all the leaves are changing. I kind of want to drive up. You know how we can like leave out of here and turn left and go up to the mountain. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to drive up there and like Maybe see all the leaves. We should do that soon. Yes. Um, anyway. Oh yeah, because we'll be able to see like. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to do that. Okay, so we're gonna make some coffee, make some breakfast. We have some um, cinnamon rolls, so we're gonna like smash them on the black stone, kind of like smash burger, but smash them and then drizzle the um, frosting over top. Maybe make some scrambled eggs, mm -hmm. bacon. Oh yeah. We're gonna make a full blown breakfast. Our friends, oh, I only told y'all this. Our friends Bailey and John, they're actually here as well. They just got a camper. This is like their first camping trip, so we're doing it with them. Um, so we're having a really good time. And I don't think I told y'all where we're staying, but we are in Still Creek, which is in Morganton, North Carolina. It's just like an hour and a half, two hours away. So it's like a really easy trip. Um, and we love to come here because it's kind of like off the grid. There's no Wi-Fi, no like TV, no nothing. Which no is actually, cell service. Yeah, it's actually really nice. We get antenna TV though. We get four channels. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. It's not a lot. And but we got, I did bring we a lot got, of good movies. We got PBS. That's all that matters. <laughs> we can watch Sesame Street. Okay, so let's make some coffee and some breakfast. Oh. Bummy always likes to do a run through of mm -hmm. just water and his Mr. Coffee. Yeah, because, you know, we only use it so periodically. I like to make sure we're nice and clean. Nice and clean. Let's see if this pops. 
Oh, I should pour this over this uh, thing that we need to clean anyway. Yeah. We got Miss Pris over here just basking in the sunshine. She's such a good girl. Oh, and Bunky, I want to show them later um, why our battery died. Because that way, oh, in yeah. case you guys ever need to know, it's a good learning experience. I mean, I can't promise that it would always work for anybody in that situation. However, well... No, no I want to show them why it died. Oh, okay. And I think, actually, never mind what I said, because I think, in any case, what I did would actually charge your battery back, regardless. So, yeah, yeah, so we'll show you guys why we couldn't get started yesterday. I'm just proud of myself for that one. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty thoughtful. Quick on my feet. Since I knew we wouldn't have like any Wi-Fi or cable, I brought some magazines. These are old, but I was like, I'll have so much fun going through them again. So I have my Christmas one. This actually, my friend Anna gave me. These are really old. I wonder if the year's on here. 1995. That's as old as you. <laughs> it's not as old as me, but I love looking through all of like the super old Taste of Home magazines. Y'all tell me down below in the comments if you remember Taste of Home. And then I brought this Southern Living Thanksgiving one. I'm trying to find some good recipes in these. Okay, we're starting on our cinnamon rolls. We're so excited. It's some cold butter, girl. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna put a little butter down and then we'll put each cinnamon roll on the black stone and smash it. Now I might need you to help. You, can you can you help wield this spatula and keep this butter? Uh-huh. Cause it's gonna start running. Okay. We actually saw our friend Jennifer and Darren make these and it looks so good. So we're very excited. See? Oh, See, oh. it's already going. Oh my god. This is what I was telling you. Go ahead and smash them. Okay. Oh. Should I have already flipped it? Yeah, flip it. Smash it and flip. Okay, these look so good. I heated up our frosting for just a few seconds and I'm just going to drizzle it on top. had a delicious breakfast. Y'all have to try those smashed cinnamon rolls because they were so good. Bunky said he liked them better than just regular cinnamon rolls because they kind of get like a little crust on them. They're delicious. Um, we had showers, got ready for the day, and now we are headed up the mountain, hopefully see some beautiful fall leaves. B said he wants to change the name of the smashed cinnamon rolls. Yeah, they're more like a smushed cinnamon roll. They're not a full smash. You just smush them a little bit. Yeah, and they actually kind of puff back up a little bit. Yeah, if you, I think if you smash them too much, they they don't, like, they turn out mag magnificent. I actually like them, I don't know if you just said this or not, I actually like those better than your regular oven-baked cinnamon roll. Yes, the crunch on the outside. They had the a crust. nice little, nice little crust on the outside, but they were still very well done and soft inside yeah surprisingly i didn't really think they were going to cook all the way through but literally like a griddled pancake me and me and my blackstone pulled it out <laughs> we, we got it done
okay, so we just got back to the camper. We had a very fun day out and about. Um, the Up Churches are making dinner tonight. They are making like their famous chili, so I'll see if they'll give us at least some of the recipe. I've been told it's a secret, but I think it's gonna be so good. And then later we're gonna make a fire. Oh, you're back with your dad. So sweet. Look at the beautiful sun just shining through the trees, Bunky. So pretty. Yeah. We've well, shown y'all our campsite. Here she is. This is where we live. <laughs> this is our little setup. Oh. Oh. Do you want to show them the solo stove? Yeah. Is it out? No, I well, put it up. Okay, we'll show it to y'all later. A little, a little bit. I've had a few of you guys ask me about the solo stove. Oh, we yeah. finally got one and we love it. It's nice to have our campsite by the creek because you walk out here, it's like so peaceful in the morning. Have your coffee. Can you even hear what you're saying over this rip, these rippling waters? Possibly not. What's up? I told them this is your famous chili. Yep. You will you will not give us. I will not give it out. The full recipe. It is not what's for dinner recipe. <laughs> but yeah. Is there some kind of something you can give us? You just find you, you get the basics down. You get a pack of chili seasoning, some beans, ground beef, then you put whatever you got in the fridge in there. Barbecue sauce, can of beer, seasoning, mustard, brown a little bit of brown sugar, uh -huh. not mustard. Can but, you give us a little peek? Look at that. Put mustard. Wow. Onions. And it is game day. I call it game day chili. Sugar. But we have no way of streaming the game. So we're going to eat chili <laughs> and pretend like we're watching it. Okay. Also, uh -huh. um, I want to share with everybody. Where did you get this? Because I want to get us one. Amazon. That's really cool. Yeah. We need one of those. One if you just want that one. But yeah. Trellis. Love the trellis. Love it. Right on. Tennessee orange. This is y'all's new camper. My new camper. So, We've so been cute. Influenced. I love it. Can you just, can you give us an OOTD? <laughs> All right, so we're not able to watch the game, but <laughs> got my smoky shirt. And then just enjoy these smoky socks <laughs> down to the Crocs. Like, well, this came from Dollar Tree, I think. <laughs> That's that Harbor Freight Special, man. Yeah. No limit. Smokey said they're working with the Harbor Freight Special. It's from Harbor Freight. <laughs> I'm gonna get a full Why size axe. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> we are cleaning up, packing up, about to head home. Monkey's doing some dishes. I'm so thankful for our fireplace because it has kept us warm through the night. We did not want to turn on our heat because it's like kind of, it's so hot during the day. So we're like, this is like pointless turning on the heat because we only need it at nighttime. Yeah. So we've been like just leaving our fireplace on for a couple hours at night and it has been amazing.
Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I'm so sorry we totally forgot to show y'all the battery thing, but I promise next time we take the bunkhouse out, I will show you guys and tell you what we were talking about. But thankfully, I'm just so glad that we were able to get it situated so we could go on our trip. But I'm so glad y'all got to come along with us on our trip. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more camping vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Thank you.